Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Pointy Not Sharp. Today I thought I'd do another little cleaning video. So I buy a lot of bayonets and quite often when I get them, they're in pretty crappy condition or just dirty and corroded really. So like this one here I bought unseen and got a little bit of like dirt, grime and corrosion, active rust, pretty much all over it. So I'm just showing you what I do with them. I've done a couple of previous cleaning videos as you can see, a really nice blade on this. It's one of the um, 1903 style of bayonets that was shortened into a 1935, so quite nice, but very sticky. But um, I don't do a terrible lot when I clean these, to be honest. I thought I'd just quickly show you what I actually do. Now, I'm actually not gonna do a terrible lot to this bayonet. I generally don't do too much because I'm not trying to destroy uh, the finish or anything like that. I'm more or less just trying to preserve them, stop the active rust, and I don't know, just keep them looking nice. So pretty much what I'm gonna do is just give it like a, um, a light oil, and then once it's a, you know, a bit uh, wet or it's soaked into the corrosion and the grime, just gonna grab some steel wool and just not, not pressing too hard, just get rid of the surface stuff. Um, if I had the correct tool, I'd remove the grips and get under there and sort that out, but I don't. I tried, I don't have a nice screwdriver with me, I've only got this one here. I tried lightly removing them. Uh, this one here started coming out, this one did not. So, smart thing to do is leave it. I can always come back to it another day. If I try too hard with a tool like this, I'm gonna scratch it, I'm gonna just rip the edges off, ruin it. So it's not worth the effort. Try again later if you get the proper tool. And if you don't, leave it as is, it's fine. But um, all I'm trying to do is just make it a little bit more presentable. So I've got a dirty old army rack slide. Just chuck a little bit of oil on there. And I'll start with the pommel. I don't want to really destroy my little mat here. I only got this recently and it's quite nice. I don't want to ruin it. So maybe I'll put some paper towel down. So I've got my uh, four zero steel wool. Let's see what comes off. It's probably not going to clean up too well in all honesty, but I'll get rid of the active rust and all the dirt. Not pressing too hard, just getting rid of the easy to remove stuff. So let's have a look at what I've done so far. So it's lost a lot of that sort of um, dark browny, grubby colour. You can see more of the patina. I've not removed the patina. And more importantly, it's not sticky anymore, which it was before. So next I'll have a quick little crack at the tang. I don't want to do too much to the tang because I don't want to uh, damage the wood grip. Honestly, if I cared more about the bayonet, this is a really cheap crap one. I'd be a lot more delicate and uh, careful around the wood, but I don't care a terrible lot about this one. It's not too nice. I might try and uh, clean the grips off just a little bit as well. As I said, I usually try to avoid getting oil on the grips, but they are really grubby and gross, so I don't think I can hurt them too much. And I'm gonna be very, very light on the grips. They feel better actually. Okay, it's looking much better already. And again, same with the cross guard. Now the cross guard has some oil or cosmoline or something um, around the base here. So I'll try and get that as well. But 
working from the back and making my way forward. Coming up really nice. Finally, put a couple of drops of oil on the blade because the blade is really sticky. I'm assuming it's very, very old Cosmoline on it. But the bayonet itself is now in a reasonably good state. Uh, it's reasonably clean. I haven't damaged any of the finishes. And it's a little bit oily, so it's gonna be well preserved. Um, I might need to give it another oil again in maybe a couple of months. Maybe even put some Renaissance wax on it as well. I'll put that to the side and I'll have a quick look at the scabbard. So it's just a typical, typical Turkish uh, Mauser style of scabbard with the um, 1903 style of throat. And same thing here, a couple of drops of oil to the outside because we've got a bit of active rust everywhere. I'll start with the front. I love the uh, the difference in the patina here. You can see where the frog was. Shame it doesn't have a frog anymore. And it's getting rid of that active rust. Now, generally I don't like to take my cleaning too much further than this. I'm very big on um, preservation. And pretty much I just want to remove the corrosion that's damaging it today. Okay. Grab my paper towel. Get rid of the excess oil. We're going to come off with a bit of rust and grime. A little bit. Now that is much better. Than when I started. I don't know how well the camera shows it, but just feeling it, it doesn't feel sticky anymore. It doesn't feel grimy. There's no like rough corrosion. Um, all the active rust is gone. Like we've still got a dark brandy color to the pommel here, but as I said, that's the patina. That's uh, not something to be trifled with. That's perfectly fine to leave in place. So that's really as far as I take um, cleaning most of the bayonets I get. I just get rid of the, the active stuff. If I've got the tools to disassemble them uh, safely, I do it. If I don't, leave it. There's no point damaging it any further. In fact, I'll tighten that screw back up. And uh, yeah, that's it. Nice and clean, ready to uh, film in its own little video. Thanks for watching.